Hello and welcome all. Today we are going to conclude the part 3 or section 3 of the part 8 of the ongoing series of tutorials on razor pages with the ASP.NET Core and Entity Framework Core building on a contest of web app. Now we will head straight into the Visual Studio and run the app. So control F5. Now click on the departments tab, click on the languages and edit and right click, open another instance. So languages and 350,000 budget. So here also edit. So these two basically screen are the same information in two instances of the Chrome browser. Now what we do is um, we will make this in the first one, change the name in the first browser tab and click save. So from languages we will make it let it be the first browser tab and it will be made English and we will hit save. Okay, so English is saved. Now come to the second instance of the browser. Come back to the now change a different field in the second browser tab. So I will change the budget to uh, 50. It's just for illustration, 500,000 and click on save. Now comes the magic. The record you attempted to edit was modified by another user after you. The edit operation was cancelled and the current where is the database has been displayed. If you still want to edit this record, click the save button again. And we have got a uh, updated row version number. So now the browser window didn't intend to change the name field. Now copy and paste the current value into the name field. So I will make it back to name say current value is English so I will make it English since whatever be the current value it will you can get rid of the validation error by tab repeating that name and clicking tabbing it away all right Now save it. So this time it will be saved with English as 500,000. Okay. Now we will update the delete page model with the code as per the Microsoft documentation. So head straight back to the Visual Studio, so, delete and then copy the code, highlight everything and paste and get it back to the Contesso University dot model as you know again. So we will get rid of Contos University to data dot data. So it will take it from Contos University from models, which is the correct thing to do. Now 
there is a concurrency error message over here and uh, so this delete page detects concurrency conflicts when the entity has changed after it was fetched the department.row version is the row version uh, when the entity was fetched the department of row version was the row version when the entity was fetched when entity framework code creates the sql delete command it includes a where class with the, this row version if sql delete command results in zero rows affected then the sql row version the row version in the sql delete command doesn't match the row version in the database and db update concurrency exception is thrown and on get async is called with the concurrency error okay so we have to look for department dot row version department of dot row version Okay, so delete dot cshtml department dot row version. Now update the delete razor page. We'll finally update the delete dot cshtml page. So I copied the code to my clipboard and highlight everything and paste. Now, in this, these changes, now this changes updates the page directive from add page to add page id colon int and it adds an error message model.concurrency error message replaces the first mid name with full name in the administrator field model dot department dot name okay changes the row version to display the last byte so model dot department dot row version 7 that is displaying the last byte of the row version adds a hidden row version This is the hidden field department.row version. Now we will create a test department. I will finally test the concurrency conflict with the delete page. So we will run that. Click on departments, create new, let this department be test. Sorry. Create new department, let it be test department. Say budget is $1,000. Start date, say 14th of January. Instructor ID, say Candace, create. Alright, this department is created. I'll 
close all the other browsers to test this. Now, the instruction to test this is open to browser instances of delete on the test department. Okay. The second one is open link. Uh, in new tab R run the app and select departments right click and delete the hyperlink for this department and select open in the new tab the new tab that I have already done. The two browser tabs display the same information. This and this. Change the tab, change the budget in the first browser and click save. Okay. So let's click the budget. Uh, say one. Click save. Okay. Now the browser shows the index page with the change value and updated row version indicator. Okay, delete the test department from the second tab. The record you attempted to delete was modified by another user after you selected delete. The delete operation was cancelled and the current value is displayed. If you still want to delete this record, Click the delete button again. Row version is 146. And here the yeah, it shows the updated row version. So we can delete now from the second right now a concurrency error is displayed with the current values from the db clicking the delete deletes the entity unless row version has been updated department has been deleted so that concurrency version we have already seen now it can be deleted on the second delete let us see, it has been deleted because it is earlier deleted from the other tab. Right, thank you, thanks for watching. If you like my series, click on like, put your comments and feedbacks and don't forget, forget to subscribe to the channel.